Zero. Hi, it's Karen. And Tim, and from greetings S from Hawaii. That was where we were going to be bringing. <laughs> <laughs> we're supposed to be there. <laughs> But yes, if we were to go to Hawaii now, we would spend two weeks in quarantine anyway. So, you know, I mean, this is not the time to travel. So instead, you know, we took a little time earlier this week to go see the grandkids in Chicago. So it's a bit of a vacation week. So I'm just going to do some really simple stamping. Like, what might you might take if you are traveling and you just want to bring a little bit of stamping? Karen said, Tim, do you have any, like, Hawaiian shirts or, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pop, you know, let me think. Is it a group of two in Hawaii? Shirts. She didn't think I did. I have like. I did. He does. I didn't. I have five <laughs> pairs. She and just doesn't. As close as I can come. So. She doesn't let me wear them. So <laughs> she doesn't like me in public with these on. So. Oh but, no, I love. But like I that. love them. Yeah, you guys. He makes it sound like I have a lot of control over what he does. Believe me, I don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we just like to tease. She does. She does. <laughs> so, so. So. You can go pull up the comments. Okay, let's do that. Don't, don't forget the rest of your job. Now we're just—he's just not ready to party. But you know, um, this is an hour early, so thank you for tuning in. Uh, we are doing an advisory Unless board. Nobody's on party this afternoon. If nobody's on, that'll be nobody. Nobody got the memo that we're early, so I needed to clear my schedule. I guess it is kind of vacation week. Do you know? Years ago, Stampin' Up used to have an advisory board. And I don't remember if it was six or eight of us demonstrators that would be on it for a year. We actually got to go out and work the pick line, meet with different departments. It was really an awesome, oh good, people are on. It was an awesome experience. And you know, it was to help uh, for us to be the voices of the demonstrators and we'd have monthly phone calls and stuff. Karen, now, what's a pick line? Pick line where you pick all the, yeah, you got to. I got to you do got the to pick do line that. too. So Tim loved that too. And when we went out for our trip, he got to go do the pick line when I was in it other meetings, but... Um, it's where you fill the orders. And yeah, where you fill you the pull orders. pull them off the shelf and it goes yeah. down a conveyor belt. Now, with everything being online, you know, our world has so changed. Um, I think everyone has a really direct voice to everyone. <laughs> so, it, it, it's a long gone thing. And of course, all of us that were on the advisory board, uh, we've been with Stampin' Up! for quite a while, because it's been quite a while. So, you know, we're, we're kind of some of the old timers. So, yeah, I know when I share swaps from the advisory board, a lot of you that have been around a long time recognize the names too. So I'll be sharing that on Monday night, the, the swap from there. But I just wanted to tell you that, you know, we still, you know, friendships are just the big thing in life. And it's the same of, you know, when you go to conventions, you know, the biggest part about being a demonstrator is the friendships, but also as customers, all of us together, it is the community. So it's really fun because when we go on these trips, we always have an advisory board reunion and we have some kind of fun little party there. So we're doing that instead. So, so. What, what's going on at one o'clock today, today, Karen? So that's what I'm doing. I'm oh, going on a party. Oh. And no, there is no fine line. I did post that over in the fine line. Yep. Uh, I, I, it, it's party day. Do you know how often I get party days? Not that often. I'm not going to turn them down. <laughs> Especially at this day and age. So can we leave this up for a little while and I can come around there and we can... Look at these. Oh, yes, yes, we have cards, of course. We have cards. And I've got an envelope that is like over Okay, the do you top. want to start with yours? Over the top. Uh -huh. Tim, WT. <laughs> Isn't that great? This is from Susie Tweeden here in Richfield. <laughs> and um, it's got 71 on the bottom. My Tim, WT. And um, coffee, please. Smiley face, and inside. <laughs> oh, that's fun! <laughs> your classic, happy quarantine birthday. Oh, very fun. A nice, great card. Thanks, Susie. <laughs> oh, look, she did a whole bunch inside too. Shrink it and read. Oh. Life is beautiful. Begin each day with a grateful heart. You rock. You rock. Keep smiling. Oh, isn't that fun? <laughs> you know, I, I'm doing a little wonderful. bit of cutting out words today, so it really fits. So that's interesting. I love that. And you know, that's a fun thing in scrapbooking too. And anything out of anywhere to take words that you want to make a message, that's really cool. Kathy says, I deserve a party day. <laughs> okay, that's fun. That's great. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> yeah, party day, Pam. That's right. So you can keep going. Oh, no, this nope. one's mine. No, that's yours. From Lisa Polly from Missouri. Ooh, love coffee cards. How, oh. How cool is that? This is a thank you for, she won one of the weekend challenges. So she got a little gift in the meal over in the back port, in the mail, in the meal. Over in the back port stampers, we do um, a challenge each week. And she sent me a thank you. I said, it's so fun. I love to get thank yous because, and I'm so bad at sending them. So I think that makes me extra grateful to get them. But isn't that fun how that's a gateful card 
meets in the middle. Get your coffee cups and then one in the middle. Put up. That is just really cute. Rebecca says we could take a party month. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> Those are both yours. Okay. Sunenberger from Minnesota. Oh, and this is one of our favorite um, folds right now. This is from that Double Fold Wonder. And I did do a, a video on that. If, it, if anyone wants to know, I can put the link. But isn't that a great thing? You can show two strips of a designer series paper pack. How cool is that? And you see how this is just the front folded back. Oh, that's cool. And then she put a separate white piece there to do the writing in. That's a congrats card. And she put this a heart, heart and, inside. Oh, this calls for confetti. And she put in one heart. <laughs> well, unless we I, lost called, the ball. Well, no, I think she's probably a minimalist, you know. So <laughs> I love that. Thanks, Sue. And another great congrats card. I actually got this from Donna Griffith from, from Stampin' Up. She's the regional director. But this is so cool. They sent these to... They made these cards to send to all of us who would have been in Hawaii this year. So it's just a very nice message inside, but just how fun, you know, because we're celebrating since we can't be together. This is from, and I want to point this out because I'll be sharing this technique soon because, you know, I just love pointing things out. This stamp set is from the card kit, the citrus fruit, which I love. So that's going to be coming up soon. And notice how she just took the stamp set and stamped it on... Um, oh, that bold paper. Someone will know what the name of this paper is. Isn't that an amazing, awesome look? So I'll do that with some other things because I thought I just love that. Karen, you don't know the name of the paper? Um, I, I did five minutes ago, but you know, I write a few things down, but not enough. <laughs> so, oh, cool. <laughs> Jennifer, we're missing you too. One of our Monday Mavens. Boy, our life has changed. Oh, yes. Jennifer's but isn't that a great look? Je Jennifer is the one that copied my image and put it, <laughs> put put it in a, a card slash bookmark. Another one from me, Beth. Ego from Iowa. Oh, yes. That's right. That I do have that. No, nope, that's perfect. I'm just responding to your message inside. Yes, I got your message. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. Oh, I love it. Isn't that pretty? Love her little side thing. And then the strip here with the papers. So that is amazing. You guys are all... Talking about where you live, which is, I see, I'm getting sidetracked. And I want to know where, where everyone that's living by Portland is. Yeah, yeah, and who's there and who's, <laughs> and I don't live by there. So <laughs> we love when you guys have conversations among yourselves so it, too. Because it works. It is community. <laughs> it works much better when you don't read and you don't even look at the comments. So, by the way, can I make an announcement? You're going to want, if you aren't in the back porch stampers yet, you're going to want to get over there. We're going to do a really fun thing on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. And of course, you can watch the replays. It doesn't matter if you're not live. We're going to do a little mystery stamping. And I'll put more information about it tomorrow in the back porch stampers. So just make sure you're over there. Two cards for the price of one. <laughs> Terry finger holes. Going, going, going. <laughs> oh, one for me and one for you? Yes. Oh, who's going first? Yes, I am. Because okay. I haven't had one for a while. Okay. Perfect. Happy birthday. Oh, look at that. That is me with Love my it. hat on. Terry lives here. She's one of my Monday Mavens that also doesn't come together. But she is busy. She lives probably, I mean, she lives in a fairly distant suburb. But she's been over a couple times. She's busy working on wedding invitations for can't remember if it's a son or a daughter, but how cool is that? And of course, she ran out of paper. And then, so, can we all relate to that? And then you're calling around, who has more of this? Who has more of this? So, I'm just thinking of her creating all these <laughs> wedding things, which is such a fun thing to do. Look at this. It says, relax. <laughs> oh, love it. So, it's an easel card. Relax your way. And what would your way be, Tim? My way would be just like that. Yep, that, that fits. There's Tim right there. And he'll have his audio book in his ears, and, yep. and he, he's set. He's tuned out. <laughs> so thank you. That's perfect. And mine is a celebrate. Oh, how cool is this? That is so cool. This, how fun. So oh my this goodness. is um I always have to figure out how these you know, this is a I, yeah, I don't think <laughs> See, I don't even, oh yeah, it does come up again. See, I have to remember. I'm always afraid I'm going to pull cards apart. But how cool is this? Is that a fun card? <laughs> Jennifer Hunstead just said, Karen, do you really need to ask who goes first? It is all about Tim after all. <laughs> yeah, we all know oh, that, yes. don't we? <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Jennifer. Oh, oh that's awesome, Terry. Terry Fabulous thank card. You. Thank you, thank you. Is that the cards? That's it. And we've the had mail, so the mail much fun. The mail hasn't come today, so. 
Oh, I know. We love getting mail, you know, and we're just fine if it takes us an hour to open our mail. We're just, I just have to laugh. Tim comes running every time there's mail, so I hear about it. I don't hear about anything else. Nothing else is exciting. Zippy goes to your barbecue. This is great because I put this up and we were looking for uh, words, you know, to go with this. This is the the uh, host code for the month. And this month you're getting a mystery box. So you're getting about half the value of what you order back in retired projects. They are so much fun to put together and send out. So that's been very fun. So keep that in mind. But it is Z G T Y B N F F. Is there an alliteration for that? Is there? I need to read you a couple of these. <laughs> but one of these I'll hold this up is fabulous. And I can't remember who did it. So you guys have to help me out here because usually I try to be good and write the name down. I was copying and pasting and somehow I left off the name. Okay. Nancy Kyle, this is the one I mentioned last week. This is the first one that came in and it is, it is a great one. Zippy Giraffe thanks you. Buy now for fun. <laughs> I love that. That's my message. Buy now for fun. So you too will have Christmas in July and get a mystery box. <laughs> Isn't that great? This is the one. It's another great one and I don't remember who did this. So if it's you or you know who it is, please tell us. We all want to know. Zoo goers, thank you. Bye now, funny fellows. <laughs> I love that. Bye now, funny fellows. That's a perfect for a zoo. That's perfect. Okay. We have three more. So this is really fun when you guys do this. Okay. Carrie McHale said, Zany girls, take your baskets next Freaky Friday. <laughs> oh, and I just want to know where, where we're going to take our baskets. And we could make a plan. I love that. <laughs> zany girls, I think all that fits. So. Yeah, zany girls, take your baskets next Freaky Friday. Yeah, zany girls on Freaky Friday. Yeah, that mm -hmm. fits. Christine Davies, Zippy goes to your barbecue and fries fish. That's an easy <laughs> one to remember. Zippy, you could actually be Zippy. <laughs> Zippy. <laughs> no. Yeah, the kids call you pokey. The grandkids yeah. call you pokey. I'm not sure zippy would quite work, but my, we could pretend. No, <laughs> my sense of humor is zippy. Oh, okay. <laughs> zippy goes to your barbecue and fries fish. Our kids, grandkids were reminding him, our granddaughter, of uh, the little story she wrote about Tim being as pokey, pokey as a tortoise or I don't know, something like that. Because <laughs> we're always waiting on him. <laughs> so let's, and here's another one. Oh, and this one fits. This one fits Tim. Bev. Taraco. I never can remember your last name, but say it. But Zippy. Oh, Zippy. Zippy's popular. Zippy gave Tim your beautiful basket near the flowery fence. I'm thinking that's what you would do for me because yes. you're the romantic person. Zippy, me. But gave Zippy Tim. gave. But oh, gave Zip, Tim. Zippy. 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 Zippy gave Tim. Yes. Your beautiful basket near the flowery. Yes. But you would love that. And then I gave it to Karen. So. You know, if you can remember any one of those or some, <laughs> you'll know the host code for the month. <laughs> At least you'll remember that there's a Z in there or a Z if you're from Canada. Zippy. <laughs> okay. And now, and you know, from the fundraiser, tomorrow the rest of them should be going out. It has been a real labor of love, let me tell you, but we are just thrilled to have raised $4,000 with all of this stuff. Did you post that sheet, that, that, that ticker? Yeah. Oh, oh I had a, we did a picture of Tim going off to the post office and he came home. We took another picture of the long... Over six foot tall. Uh, <laughs> the long, <laughs> you know, the, the, the receipt, whatever. Uh, but, and that's not all of them. That's what's funny. So what I decided today, I thought it's kind of a... Since we kind of took this week, I know, and I just, I really just couldn't feel inspired. I just have, you know, been busy and all this. And I thought, so... If I just want to do something quick and easy and maybe you're going on vacation or something, what would I just grab to take, you know? So we're going from there. And of course, we're going to work with card kits, but I'm going to show some fun ideas. So do we want this on the table? Yep. Now we'll put that down. First thing we're going to start with, we have this little folder not too, um, but you, you know, this stuff is uh, just in my store too. But this is an idea, especially for people just getting started. Because you get everything you need to make a variety of things. So we're going to be focused on the, the season of flowers, all of that today, to, today. So this is just one part. But what I wanted to show, if I were going to, first of all, I'm going to do this as giving a gift. And Tim, you can come make something. He doesn't know. He thinks he got off just, today, but he doesn't know. He's been repairing our door and doing other stuff. And, I, I got uh, flowers that I have to water. <laughs> I'll be back. So, yeah, he'll, I'll come, back. he'll come back later. <laughs> but when you get all these things in different packets, my thought was let's make this into a little gift. So now number one, this is if I were going to go somewhere and wanted to take something. But this one in particular is more for 
if you just want to have a little gift, something to grab when you need a little card. So now typically I wouldn't even put these things in. They come with this. So if I were giving this to a gift from someone from scratch, I would include these things. Typically, if you travel or have things together, you'd have another little bag or something that has your scissors, your glue, a couple blocks. So we're just going to pretend this. And then I added some of these fun little sequins. And I thought I would just have Tim come make one of these little cards. These are like when you just need to grab something. So we have all these different sides a set of flowers, and then you get two ink spots. I'm not opening mine because I already have them in ink pads, so I will save them to give to someone else. So I set that aside, but then I thought, what if we want to make this look a little prettier? I'm going to turn this into kind of a little gift thing. So now I've taken, uh, typically I would take um, the, the paper, you know, the ones that come with this are in a six by six. So, so it wasn't big enough to do this. You want me to make something? Yeah, I was just going to tell you to look in here and figure out something to make. Don't you think you could do that? And do it on camera or just off the side? Oh, I don't know. You can, you can interrupt anytime you want, you know, because we all well, know I you do. do that. So you yeah. can do it. But these, this is just a little thing to have ready on the go. Oh, that's so and nice. And he's, Tim has never seen this. So and now that I'm <laughs> knocking everything on the floor. So I want to decorate this what? and I've make it more this. of a... Uh, a, a real gift that I'm giving to someone. So I'm using just the In Good Taste paper because I wanted something pretty nondescript for the background. This is 11 and a quarter by seven inches. And then I'm going to just put this in. Don't leave us out. You guys are all talking about meeting. Don't leave us out, you know, when we travel. We'll meet all of you. So I said, so no, we, just, we just laugh about that because we love doing that. And I'm gonna, let's see, I'm going to uh, push it all the way down one way. Well, I guess, I guess it's in there. Good. It's good. Okay. And I'm going to close it. So see, this is going to give me something to work with. And I'm going to open it again because I'm going to decorate it. And I really might use an alphabet or something. Might put somebody's name on here. I actually can crease these now that I know where they're going to go. Ooh, that was a bad crease. That did, don't do what I did. Okay, we'll do that one. And then we'll do this one a little better. Now, this is also a gift idea, keep in mind, of just doing it as a wrap. Think of what you could decorate, anything you could fit in here. You could put in, you know, little candles, candies, so it's really just an idea. So then I'm going to take... Uh -huh. This little thank you, does this go, <laughs> go on this? Go in there. That's why typically you would have a little, you'd have something else. And you can either use that ink pad or I have oh, a green... On. You're going to use that one. Oh, okay. Yes. okay, so you're playing with it. So now I'm going to take from the Memories and More... See, this is mm -hmm. when your, 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 your mm -hmm. thing is bigger than your ink pad. <laughs> but it works. That's what's great. Do, 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 should we see what Tim is doing here first? We'll give him a minute here to finish this card. But a little set like this you have just handy if you quick need something to put in with a birthday gift or thinking of you or anything else. Oh, he's going to do a couple of them. Whoa! <laughs> and well, then you can drop it. Better not do it upside down either. And he's going to do a little thank you card. Oh, it's crooked. That's not too bad. No, it's all right. It's all right. Okay, you can go back to talking. Okay, let's see. Then you have little sequins to add on there. Oh, yes. There. I will. I'll you show can, the... You can play with whatever you Excuse want me. here. Excuse me. So I'm back to this. And I am going to take... We were in the Milwaukee area. Actually, we were north of Milwaukee the last time we went through. And that's where we got sent home. We were on our way to Chicago to see our grandkids and to do a party for Nancy who's often on here in uh, Chicago and our daughter called and said go home don't come here you're not welcome <laughs> because the COVID was just starting to hit so <laughs> now this is from the memories and more card pack but you see I'm going to use this to decorate so I'm going to put this on the front and then I just have another little strip from the paper I'll put on the spine so this is just an idea I guess that does kind of look like it should go this way Look at our screen, how messy it is. It's like stuff everywhere. Yeah, I know. But no one's going to say anything because they're all, um, they're crafters. <laughs> they know how this goes. Uh, and as you can tell, we're going to be adding the memories and more, more cards. And I'm going to think, I was going to pick some words out there, but we're going to 
I would come back later and add words. It's okay. So we're just going to finish this. Now, what I actually do with this, I will keep one for me that will have, I have to think of, <laughs> to think of which way this closes. What's the front here? Everything that's left over from today, I'm actually going to put in here. So all my cards, my memories and more, my odds and ends of scraps, things left over. Oh, isn't that, aren't you impressed? That's good. But you know what? Oh, it's because I didn't do this right. Okay. But why I added this little thing is if they're sitting like this on my thing or like this, I know exactly which one I am referring to. So now just think of this in instead as a gift box of any of the things you could put in here. This would also make a fun little craft box. Make your own little craft kit for kids. You know, you could put in some of your punched out little things, but you know, you could for anyone. You make your own card kits, but I especially think for kids, it's so fun to get a little box of goodies in the mail that you can just, or in person, that that's for your stuff. So we're gonna be using this paper while well, Tim's playing with that, so I'm going to just set that aside because that's my idea. And then, so we're using, we use that, and then we're going to go to the catalog. So for my travel kit, I am just going to take this, a set of these cards and envelopes, and you get 10 for $11. And these are all the in colors, the new in colors, which is really fun. And they all go with... And here's the card pack. So I have the card pack, which is $11, and it has 50 cards in it, uh, two each of 24 designs, and it includes pages like this that are stickers. You know, and I put words on these so they would be ready to use. So you get a bunch of stuff like that. Everything's two-sided. And then it also all goes with the <laughs> paper. <laughs> Tim is still playing over here. I'm not exactly well, sure what he's doing. How do you get these? This thing is so stuck to that little thing uh -huh. that I can't get it off. Uh -huh. you, you, you just Here, play with it. Give me a scissors. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to take, he's going to need, you know, two or three tools instead, instead of one. But that works. Okay. So this okay. is the paper, which is eleven fifty for a whole bunch of these papers. And now all of this stuff goes together. So that's what I think is really cool about this because I'm going to have all of my leftovers be put back in here. So, yeah, this is another old idea. Barbara's saying she's done this before for Christmas and people, you know, this is also fun. That's a fun gift. Also fun to have. If you do travel a lot, take one of these and put your adhesives, a little scissors, a couple blocks, you know, those things you just know you're going to need, um, but you don't have to reorganize for each trip. So just have a little supply thing to just be ready to go. So I'm going to show a few of this is how cards and envelope, I mean, um, memories and more cards are just so fun. I'm going to make a few cards, but I just wanted to show you first what they're like. They're all two-sided. You can just see how they're all going to go in here. I'm not going to use these. I'm going to set them in here. And then the cards and envelopes mm -hmm. all come like this. And these are a little oversized. We've talked about how fun it is to give cards of a little different size because people just aren't expecting it. And you see how these, these will all fit in here too. So I will just put all of those are going to go in there. But now we'll create a few things. So this is a little package deal, all set to go. If I just want, if I want to leave for a while and make something, or if I want something handy on the shelf when I know I need a quick card, don't have time to go looking for everything, or to give as a gift, three ways to use it. So now in no random order. And a way to get your husband involved by doing this. Thank you. Oh, nice. Now, there's actually three, what do they call those little things? Three gems. Three gems, but two of them are hidden. Oh, okay. So, see if so it's gonna, a mystery card. It is. This it is, is a preview for Saturday's mystery card making day. <laughs> if you can find all three of them, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> And mm -hmm. all kinds of little gems or little goods like that would be, um, Kathy says, they go out trailer camping. It'd be perfect to just bring this. You know, sometimes we get overwhelmed because we see all of our stuff and don't know where to start. And sometimes I think it's fun if you're traveling or something just to have the set amount. And it's still amazing what you can decide you're going to do with it. Okay. Back to me. Yeah. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a hint about the other ones. They're color coordinated. So... A green one's hiding with green, and a reddish one is writing with, writing with reddish. Do you want to point them out, or do we find out tomorrow? Why don't you see if you can find them, <laughs> Okay, 
Okay. What is your point? The obvious one? Yep. And the two hidden ones? Yes. Did I do good? You did good. Okay, good, good. I passed. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm going to just show a few ideas. I'm only adding ribbon, little punch, just little odds and ends of different ideas to get you started. Because even when you're using this, you can change things up and make them your own. Vicki says, perfect for the back porch. And I'm thinking, she's thinking of, yeah, my stamping on the back porch. But she's saying, perfect for the back porch. You don't have to make a lot of trips back into the house. I love it. Because that's me making a trip all the time. I love it. That's perfect. <laughs> okay, so this goes on. And you see, these are the size of these small cards. They are four by three. But I'm just going to tell you something. Then here is another great hint. If you take anything from these, if you want to do more, I'm going to get more of these um, cards and envelopes. Because Now look, I can take any of these and I can cut it at four. My two inch strip I put in a special box because I use those all the time. And then I'm going to cut it at three. And do you realize I have two more of these? So I can make any of those into the same size. And it just goes beautifully with this paper. So that's my extra little, that's why we have that paper there. So these papers, I don't even know if I cut them or they came from that. You know, all of this goes together. So that's the plan. So the first thing we're going to do is, I like to kind of elevate things sometimes. Let's see, what did I think I would do with this? Obviously, oh, here. Obviously not that. Okay, this one, I'm going to talk about ways to send a card with a flat ribbon. So I'm going to take my ribbon, I'm going to make it this way, I'm going to fold it back this way, and then it's going to go this way. And I'm going to trim it. Hiding in the tulips, you guys found it. <laughs> That's great. Now, of course, I'm looking for my scissors. Oh, I hope you can tell me your table gets as messy as mine does when you're creating. And I'm going to put, I'm going to cut that off. So now I'm going to put this on. And isn't the backside pretty too? So I just love all of these. And now I am going to take my words and pop them up. So I will look for my regular dimensionals. And I see if I have any, here's some regular size. This, you've got this, is from this ridiculously awesome new stamp set. So we're going to put that on. And, you know, just little punches and scraps of paper is the only other thing you can make words ahead. Although there are a lot of words on here, so I'll show you some of the things I'm going to do with the words. You wouldn't even need to do this. I just thought while we're at it, you could tuck in a little ribbon and some punched out pieces and a stamp set if you want to say other things. Yeah, little grab and go. This is also great. I used to, when I started, my kids were younger and I'd often, you know, if we were at a practice or, you know, something where I'm waiting for them, swimming lessons or something, I loved putting things in a case that I could just sit and work on while we're waiting. But here we have it a little elevated and it's a little, little fun. And now I'm going to add a couple of colors here. Let's add, we'll add a green. We're going to add the colors that are in here. So we'll add the green and a yellow and a blue. And here's my trick for taking these off. Okay, I just bend this a little bit so it goes under really easily. Of course, it did it really well until I, <laughs> until I picked it up to show you. <laughs> oh, and I lost my little thing. We'll do it again. Once more, you know, when you do it with the camera on, it's suddenly a little trickier. Where am I going to put this one? I'm going to, oh, I'll put it up here. It's just fine. So a little elevated um, fun card. And then the envelope for it looks so pretty. Of course, I don't see I don't see the blue one. So we'll do it with the next one. But they all have pretty envelopes to go with them. So here's one idea for ribbon. And look how simple. But you know, th these would also be a great stack of cards to have on hand. Another idea would be to decorate this with someone's name and put in 10 cards and envelopes for them to send. You know, packaging just is such a fun thing for all of our little paper crafting thing. <laughs> so good. Yes, this is simple cards today. And sometimes we just absolutely 
Need and love that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a few things with ribbon just to look at some different ways of using ribbon. Oh, and I'll just show you one of the envelopes here because now this would be the envelope to go with this. And doesn't that just, it just makes it so extra special. Could somebody tell Karen that it's envelopes? Okay. <laughs> She's, she, she grew up in town. I grew up on a farm. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think... In a town of 3,000. And yeah, the town folk, we talked different. Yes, you did. <laughs> differently. Than, and you know what I forgot to put on was this. Okay? Oh, no. I'm going to take it back off. So, oh, no. Oh, no. double duty here. I'm just going to flip this under and take it off. Sure, I can do that. Because, you know, we want to talk about different ways of doing ribbon while we're at it. This was not totally planned out today. You know, I okay. don't have cards made. These are just a threw out ideas. Yes, Tim, did you? I was you? in the kitchen minding my own business and I mm -hmm. came in, distracted her, and she forgot the ribbon. And do you know what I can't find are um, glue dots, you know, a round thing of glue dots. Would you see if you could go find okay. it for me? I'll, I'll do without if I so don't find them, but you know, on like the, these? yeah, like, like these. Thank you, Tim. Oh, you're good. You're a good finder. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of product shares, new product shares are coming out in a couple of days. And um, things like if you did the ribbon and embellishment shares, they are all in the process of being sent. So you will get them soon. But it is the oddest thing. They just totally didn't have them. It was totally out. Okay, so this time I'm going to just put my ribbon around this way. And this is way more ribbon than you need to use. But it's what I have. So what I had, so I'm going to put it down and hope that it's reasonably straight. Okay, and then this is from one of the sticker sheets. This is a little bow, and I thought, okay, this works for right on top of there. Okay, so here I'm going to put my bow on. That's going to hold it, and then we'll add a few more, a few more of these. We'll do that, and I love these little, see these have been back ordered too, all these half the embellishments and ribbons were all, and it all has to do with, you know, factory issues and all of that, so it's just kind of what we're all experiencing. So it's all just fine. I'm going to just leave, no, I'll do one more up here. We'll do this one up here. But you can see how this is really just something to, oh, I messed that one up. Working on camera is a little different than working off camera. I am really having troubles today. <laughs> okay, so here is another fun card. And this is from the same word stamp set. Now we'll do another way of doing a ribbon. So this time, and these are all, I'm trying to keep them pretty flat. So now here's another one that I am, you know, isn't this fun? I mean, both sides of these are just great. So this time I'm going to take, and these ribbons come in the new in colors, and I just got mine. I haven't got, and I only got three, these three colors. The other two colors aren't even in yet. So they're just starting to send out all, all of this. So uh, the name of the game this year is, for 2020, I think is patience. Patience in everything. <laughs> A lot of things we don't have control over. I'm going to put this on. <laughs> Kate thinks I might be excited about that I get to go to a party. <laughs> I just can't focus. Hey, that could be. <laughs> so this is another way I love doing ribbons. So I just put this on the back. And instead of t wrapping it around and then tying a bow, by doing it this way, now when I put this through, all I need to do is half of a bow and it's going to still stay tight. And if you notice this, so here's the trick to tying a ribbon. I'm going to start over again. I have it in here. I'm right-handed. So I really don't even have to guess this. So it goes under with my right hand and then I'm just holding it with my right hand. I'm going to pull with my left. Now watch as I pull. Do you see how it pulls and it turns it into a nice, doesn't look like a knot, it's just nice and flat. Just like that. So that's the little ribbon tying trick. And then for this, I, you know, any punch would work on these. I actually will use one of these stickers. Let's do that since I 
since I made this, I'll just, I did a little get well soon. So we'll put this one on here. And of course that needs a couple of little gems. Isn't that a term of endearment for me? A little gem? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dim looks for, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put that on, okay. So here is the next one. Yes, these are one of the card. This is the Memories and More card kits, and the, uh, let me, um, and I'll put connection to the links. But it's the Memories and More card kits, and then it's the cards and envelopes. So, uh, and these are the, the cards and envelopes that all coordinate. And then I'm just adding extra paper, so all this just goes well together. You could get this whole set and just get one or two of the ink colors too, and you have it made. But you have all these fun things to put on. So let's see next. Let's go for, I'm not even, I'm not even sure what my plans were here, guys. So we're just going to look at some things. But here's one of the cards. There are two cards like this that just have a bunch of words. And I thought, how awesome is this? We can just cut out whatever we want it to say. So, now you'll notice the card looks like this. So I've been putting papers on the inside. If I use a full paper, it's going to look like this, which is awesome too. And then look at this. I'm going to put this one on the inside. So how great is that? So that will be very pretty. So I looked at this and thought, okay, what I want to do with this. This one I'm not going to use ribbon on. So sometimes they turn out, sometimes they don't, and it's live, but it's all, it is it's all good so you know and we'd like to see what you guys do with these but I think so the other thing that's great about a kit like this I have to say let's say you're visiting someone who doesn't stamp this is an easy thing to pull out and do together um, or if there's kids or also if you're visiting somebody um, more elderly that that doesn't do a lot you know you can all do this you can sit and do these together you could bring these into a nursing home and sit with somebody and help make these and I think what a fun thing I love the idea of sitting and working on something together because sometimes it just gets um, harder to just sit and visit, you know, and you don't want to be watching TV. And I think, I just think, you know, we are really good at talking and stamping and doing you that really together. You're talking about an era that doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah, things you used to do. So I just love this kind of hands-on thing, bring a little something to do. Now, you might not want your flowers going upside down like mine do, but, you know, we'll fix that. <laughs> I thought, isn't this fun? And this is where you're right. And if you took this into somebody who doesn't really get out, like in a nursing home, you could write a letter right from them right there. They could tell you what to say and send it out. And I think what a fun uh, visit, visiting time that would be. So what I wanted to do here was just pick some of these words. And then you see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop this flower up somehow. And I wasn't sure if I wanted the words just plain or on little strips. So this is where we just like talking about possibilities. So what I'm going to pick for this one is going to just be, I think I'm going to do, you know what, thankful today. I'm going to, I'm going to just cut this out. Ooh, and then I might take the love and put on the inside. So anyway, this is what's fun. I love stamp sets where you the words are in white and I don't think we have any right now we had one last year I was just really, really sorry to see it go because I love the look of that but that's what this is kind of like otherwise you have to emboss you know and white on something and I don't do tons of embossing now I have a choice of just leaving that on or of layering it on for this one I might just put it on and then the next one I'll layer since I'm going to do this twice okay so We'll just go for variety. So now I'm just going to go for thankful today. And then I'm going to pull off this, this sticker. I could actually dab this with some baby powder if I want. I want this to be popped up, but I'm just going to put enough um, dimensionals on that it'll stay on. Yeah, it, both sides of the paper are pretty, Sylvia, that's right. So you just have to pick what you're going to use. But I love that you get all that variety with it. And so you can sit down and take a card kit like this and your cards are still all going to look really different. You know, you don't have to just, they're not going to all, all be just alike. I'm putting a bunch of these on just because I want to keep it popped up. So when you put it in an envelope and mail it, it's get it won't it won't be too high for that okay so now that's going to go up there 
and I thought how fun and then of course we'll add some gems I could also add more words thankful today um, happy love there's all kinds of other things here that I could be saying gems are on the left gems are on, oh, gems are on the left okay now let's do okay I'm just gonna do some green on this I think let's see if Karen can do gems better than I can <laughs> he, he missed how well I was oh just my doing goodness, them look at that. A moment ago okay a I'm gonna put a green and I'll just put another green I've been so careful with these gems because I got two sets of them when we could first order as demonstrators but now they've been totally out <laughs> and I think they might be available again so I just couldn't use them on cards I just really wanted to use them because I think they just really add to the, Is that being careful? Uh, the I think they just really add and they go you know with this paper and stuff I just think they're a fun Okay, so here's here's a card for there. You know what? I would use a trimmer. This isn't very straight if you're going to look carefully. So that's the advantage. You know, camera, they say, adds 10 pounds. It also makes crooked lines look straighter, maybe. I don't know. So, this is not very straight. And I would probably, but if I were camping or doing something, you know, I'm fine with this. I would still send it. But it, it's not very straight, you know. So. show the inside? But, you know, a lot of times... You know, there is a whole look. If, if it isn't straight, you know, and these I did cut on a cutter, but you've seen me often take words and just cut them out and then put them on this and just cut them out, and they're, they're, I'm not even trying to do them straight. So that's a really good way to get around that. But I think what a fun card. Aren't these fun with the inside? <laughs> Rebecca thinks she needs a second July order. <laughs> that's too funny. I think that's a good idea, Becky. <laughs> Becky Lynn. <laughs> Okay, so here's another one, and I didn't really, I don't know if I have any plan for this, but I just wanted to show, but how cool is this? These are gonna be my inside and outside on this one. Okay, so this was this, and now I thought I might, um, oh yeah, let's do some more words on this one and just do them. You know, I really am just playing here. <laughs> I realize I don't really have a rhyme or reason, but let's see what else looks good here. Let's see. Oh, uh, let's say, oh, I love these. Look at, love you, celebrate, oh, breathe deep, relax, breathe deep, stay positive. Okay, I'm going to send this to someone who's going through a hard time or someone who needs to hear this message, which could be many of us. It doesn't really even need to be a hard time. Okay, so I'm going to use relax. Breathe deep. And then inside you're just gonna say, I'm thinking of you, you know, during this busy time. I mean, maybe it's, you know, for Terry, who's, you know, getting all those uh, wedding invitations done <laughs> any time that you're busy, but I think, how fun to get a card like this. That's just kind of a thinking of you. So, relax, breathe deep. Okay, so we have relax, breathe deep. And I, as, as I'm um, cutting even faster, I am not, <laughs> They're getting worse and worse, but it's really okay. Relax. Oh, I don't want I want breathe deep. Stay positive. Now notice I'm using all three colors too. Isn't this like the first card that I opened today from Susie? <laughs> how fun how one idea can be interpreted so many different ways. <laughs> okay, so this is what I want to say. Relax, breathe deep, stay positive. Now this could be fun to put a punched out. Daisy with our Daisy punch on. So see, I mean, I didn't finish these cards because this is just kind of talking through how I, how I plan um, to do these things. So now if I wanted to put them on colors, then they would look like this. So lay them out this way, but I didn't do a different color for the other. But to see how this can accent, if I want them to stand out a little more, then I can do stay positive. I love working with all these little words though. Look at that. And then, oh, we can put this on green. I, I'm just feeling it needs something else, and I'm not, I'm not sure what. So I'm going to work on that. And it will be, you know, I'll put these on my blog, and I'll have the finished card there. But a ribbon. I. <laughs> And I'm not sure about that color, <laughs> but I'm liking where this is going. So this is my idea. And of course, <laughs> of course, <laughs> this would be a really relaxed card if you send it upside down, <laughs> which I would tend to do. Yes, the name of the kits. Let me quick 
tell you the page that they're on. Um, and someone else would probably beat me to it. <laughs> but this is, you know, I'm, I'm really showing you kind of what it is when you sit down. Like if you took this on a little vacation, you still have all this to play with. And you don't have tons of other stuff. And I think that can be really good for our creativity. And you can make all these cool things and just have a wonderful time doing it. Okay, so the card kit is on page, I don't know, has anyone else found it before me? Okay, page 154 and 155. These are the cards and envelopes. I have one pack. This is the Memories and More card pack. I bought one of these for $11.50. It has 50 cards. And then I bought one of these, so I'm making 10 cards right now. But I need another pack to even just finish this up. So you're going to get a lot of cards. This is $11.50. This is $11. So you're going to get a lot of cards. And then they all go with the 6 by 6 paper pack, two of flowers of the season. And then what the only things I'm adding is a ribbon in the same colors and these little gems in the same colors. And then you can see how all of this at the end is going to be just packed up in my box. So when I come back to it, as always you get all these little things around, there's going to be a lot of stuff still left for other things. Okay, so that's this idea. So I'll set that aside. And let's see, okay, here is... Um, Yeah, see, I, I, oh, I have no idea. I think things are just kind of, you know, flailing or falling around or something. Okay, let's, let's do this one. Here's another one. I, I banged mine up a little here, but that's okay. We're going to put this one on. And again, these are just four by threes. So these are, you get some in the packet. You also can make as many of them as you want. Is this kind of something that kind of goes up and down? <laughs> do you like that, Tim? <laughs> I was trying to think, I think most of these don't go up and down. They go any which way, but this kind of looks like it has a, I can't tell. So this might be a card that goes this way, but it might not be. And I thought, okay, I'm going to use, yeah, no, my card's going to go this way. Okay, I am going to use, uh, da, 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 da. oh, let, let's use this. Karen, that actually said that you're kind of entertaining when you're doing this. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do talk to myself as I do this too. Not oh, always out does. loud. So, what are you <laughs> oh, Rebecca said in that last card, just put those on Kitty Wampus. I love your idea. Just put them on Kitty Wampus. And then, oh, okay, I will do that. I love that. And then it's done. This one, I was going to, oh, here, we'll use this. I said I was going to use some, some kind of white or something. Okay, let's put on, let's do a little happy anniversary. And actually, let's even put a little ribbon across here, okay? So this is truly just do as we go. I'm just going to put a layer of this across. Just held down. And then I'm going to put, ooh, that's nice and straight too. You know, it's a handmade look. It's not machine done. We're celebrating that. I'm going to put my happy anniversary maybe right there, and then I'm going to put more of these little flowers as my accent. If I can pull them off, and let me see if I want to pop them up or just put them down. These could even, you know, do you see this? These could even go off to the side. I actually kind of like that, but it's a little late to do that. Let's see if I can do that. This is all about changing things. You don't usually Karen, see I, I know. these first made, ones made when I'm coming up with ideas. Changes. The first ones you don't necessarily even see. Here, you're seeing it all. So I thought, let's just make this a little different and just for a little interest, have this pop off the side. Okay? Okay, so, so here's another one. <laughs> Kathy was wondering what kitty wampus meant. Okay, now she got it. Yeah, fancy word for cricket. <laughs> That's true. Okay, and I think that is enough for right now, but I'm just going to show a couple more pieces like, oh, isn't this one fun? I love this one. This, oh, and you have these words too. So now if I pull off, you have two sheets of these in here. So I'm going to pull off celebrate. That would be a good one. You want to pull them off really carefully. Now I could put celebrate right across there, which I think I'll do, or I could put celebrate, any ideas on that? Or I could put it this way. Tim, what do you think? 
um, to accent the, it or just on the white? I think so. Okay, we're just going to do the white today, but realize we dwell in the land of possibilities. So it could go on anything. And, you know, you might want to celebrate on the whole thing. I wanted mine, you know, to connect with the gold. Yes, <laughs> it's making a statement. Now, now, here's just the start of what I'm going to do. But now this could go on pretty much any of the colors, and I will add... Uh, I don't want it on that color, but uh, I don't think I can find my other colors right now. But you see how this is going to be the start of the next card? And I think these are so fun. Now, I love this. Oh, on my mind. Ah, I was going to take this. I was thinking, okay, if you're on my mind today, it could be, it could be the same thing. Let's do on my mind, love you. I'll tell you what, Karen is having too much fun to quit. <laughs> no, no, I'm almost done. <laughs> you, you were done. You just keep going. But, but we're going to pop this one up. This is kind of like play playtime, you know? On my mind. I'm going to put love you over here. These are going to kind of go off the edge. And let's see if I have another one. I have yay for today, bless. There's a whole other thing of words. And I just don't see it out here. <laughs> so, uh, On my mind, love you. Yay for today. Oh, why not? Yay for today. Let's see, we're just kind of using these up. And kind of just tell a story. So you could take this idea, you know, and also just... Type out words, print them out on the computer, print out your own sentiments and do, you know, different kinds of things like this. But I thought, oh, this is kind of fun. See, I'm going to do something like that. And then this one will have to come, kind of come back in like that. And then it'll get, it will get mounted and I'll see. You know, but a lot of these are just plain cards, but really fun and lovely. Okay, I like that. Do you like that, Tim? Will, that, will, do, will that do? Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me put this one on. <laughs> And the kit is called The Memories and More. It's the flower for all seasons. And I believe it was page 154 and 155. Is that right? The envelopes are on one page. The cards are on the other. And you, know, you could use these cards and do the card bases and use any papers and do anything on them. This is just kind of showing um, just some ideas here. So anyway, I will finish that off with some gems. And then just know all of my cards could fit in here for a gift. What I will do is put in all of my extras, you know, so then I don't need the, I don't need this anymore. And all of my sticker sheets, everything. So whenever I want to create more with this, they're all going to be here instead of just loose in my scrap box. So that's kind of, it's an organizational tip plus the other. Uh, thanks for watching. So this is my idea. And I thought this really kind of fits the kind of the, you know, we are just taking some vacation. We're actually going to be gone a couple of days next week, too, but we'll still be coming to you live. But I thought we just need a little time off right now. And having things just set and ready to just pick up when you need something in a hurry. And um, or if you're not feeling creative, but you need a card and you want to do something. So between gift giving and all of this, oh, Rebecca said her auction items just arrived. That is awesome. Make sure you go join over in the back porch stamper so that you can get see the mystery stamping on Saturday. That would be fun. And we have some other things going on over there, too. I have one more announcement. Yeah. The mail came. Oh, my goodness. We'll save them for next and week. We but look at this. four. I'm not going to show you who they're from. No, but isn't that exciting? And we have four more cards. Okay, so can I tell you, Tim loves... And guess who they're all mail for. Mail time. Guess who they're all for. I don't know who they're all for. Karen. Oh, they are, but you're excited anyway. Oh, I am. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I get to open them. I'm the first one that gets to see them. <laughs> Yes, and you guys will just be full of tons of other ideas. But anyway, I think these are a great way using kits. You know, you can use kits just as they are and add nothing, and you just have things that are that you can still be really glad of. You can also just take bits of ribbon, some other stamps, bits of embellishments, and make them your own. And that's what I just think is so fun. They can just be your your starter base and then create with. So we thank you for no fine line today. Somebody's asking. Came in I already said that. Yeah, I don't. But no. But Somebody's yeah. still asking. Oh, okay. It's post. It's post over there. No fine line today. But anyway, no thank you, everyone, line. because I'm going to a party after this, and you know, I just a you virtual know. party. Yes, but we will do stamping mystery Saturday, and you will love doing that uh, Saturday morning at 10 a.m. But I'll put up all the things about it tomorrow in the back porch stampers. So I think that's it. Yeah, I better get some iced tea. You're right, Rebecca said. Yep, it is time to do that for the party. They said to. Uh, come dressed for the occasion and you know this is as far far as I can get for celebrating a life. <laughs>
Thank you, everyone. You all have a wonderful weekend. We appreciate you. See you on Saturday. <laughs> Bye. Nice hat, Karen. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>